The other one you mentioned now is staying away from a crime scene. I mean, we all watch some of these uh, films, even though they are make-believe. You know that when there is a situation that we allege a crime has, has been, been committed, committed, there's every likelihood that the place will be contaminated if someone that is not part of the system enters that place. So that was the first mistake. Who authorized? We're asking for who authorized the shooting? Who authorized the cleaning of that place? Maybe without... the same people who, who didn't want to admit that it was a crime crime scene, who didn't want to admit that people had died. That's why it was that same energy that they used to clean it up, because at first they never admitted that any crime was committed. They simply, you know, made it seem like people were there beyond the curfew. They're not sure if the army showed up or not. You know, we're still thinking about it. You know, we would find out who turned off the LED lights. And, you know, that's how it went. You know, next thing, the crime scene is contaminated. Ministers walking in, you know, you know finding cameras. And I, here I, and there. If not that, the, this whole thing has been shrouded in some sort of secrecy and, you know, um, half-truths or no truths at all, I don't think that um, a freedom of um, information request is required because if the gov governor has acknowledged that there is a CCTV camera, what does it take while the panel is investigating? Open up the, put out the visuals, let's see what actually transpired. They can still investigate. Why you release it so people see that there is a measure of transparency? I know a lot of persons who tell me, no, that's not the way it is done. But it, the, the trust deficit we keep talking about yes. is just increasing on a daily basis with the narrative that is and it might get worse. On, the, on the heels of what transpired at the Lekki Tolkien. It, it might get so, worse. Um, it, this government, not just um, Lagos State government, because he has said that, uh, well, there is a limit to the things that he can do, but the federal government, led by President Muhammad Buhari, has a huge responsibility to the people of this country to ensure that the findings of whatever panel this time that has been set up, because... Nigerians are exhausted from the being optimistic. So there must be a reinstating of some level of confidence with the recommendations that will come from this panel. One That's thing that I would sense. say to, to wrap this up is every time that I hear the Lagos State Governor say, oh, you know, I don't have any powers, you know, I'm only going to, you know, do the best that I can on the state level. And would, it, every time it just, every, you know, sounds to me like, don't blame me if we don't find anything. That's, that's exactly how it sounds, because he, say, he says it over and over and over. Um, and it every time sounds to me like, you know, just in case we don't find anything, just in case nobody's persecuted, don't blame me, it's not really my fault, it's, you know, beyond me. <laughs> that's how it sounds. All right, uh, we will uh, continue with all the stories.